What up, YouTube? I am in the middle of rush hour traffic. Lovely Miami rush hour traffic. Which is kind of a dangerous mission in and of itself on a motorcycle. But, I am... Well, okay, so... If you've seen my previous videos, you know I love my shadow, but I've been ready to upgrade for a while now. So I am on my way to Peterson's Harley-Davidson, God, this traffic, Peterson's Harley-Davidson North to test drive a pretty great looking, but we'll see how it, this turns out. Hopefully we can work out a good deal. If we can't, we can. But uh, I've said it repeatedly, I'm not just looking to upgrade for upgrade's sake. I'm looking for the right bike at the right price. And if I don't find it, I'm more than happy keeping my shadow for as long as it takes. Even if it's as long as this damn light. But yeah, uh, let's, uh, let's time lapse it all the way there. And uh, yeah, so I don't bore y'all with this traffic. Let's go. Harley-Davidson of Miami. Let's see what these guys got for us. Oh, there she is. controls are a little different than mine but get used to them look at this douchebag come on guy Get up. That D cell pop is nice. All right, let's go talk. Three hundred and forty six minutes later. That's yours. <laughs> Thanks, bro. 
Thanks, man. Congratulations, man. That's what's up, man. First Harley, buddy. This thing has a lot of get up. I decide what road I'm gonna take home I'm thinking the Palmetto right now let's talk about mod plans for this baby so first things I'm gonna take care of are the light situation gotta get a new rear light I'm gonna get a LED headlight I'm gonna get LED turn signals I might relocate the front turn signals God, this thing sounds beautiful. I am taking it easy. I'm getting used to her. I haven't named her yet. I may have by the time the video comes out. If you follow me on Instagram, you may already know her new name. Okay, so after the lights, I need to put LED lights under it, of course. I'm gonna put LED lights under it. I don't know what, what I'm gonna do about these speakers. I'm not crazy about them. Look at this jerk. Come on, guy. Uh, the seat is so comfortable. Let's see, after lights, I'm gonna put a swing arm bag on it. That's a for sure thing. God, I'm only in fourth gear and I'm already at. See, that, that's such a difference from the shadow. I love this. I'm almost leaning back. Alright, so we've gone over lights or lighting because there's a lot of stuff to do with the lights. We're gonna, oh, we don't have to do exhaust because that's already done. I might get new heat guards for the exhaust, uh, but I don't know, that's not a definite thing yet. I'm thinking of eventually chopping off the fenders, the, both the front and the back. I spoke in, uh, in the Top 6 Motorcycle Styles video, I'll throw that link below, about how a bobber is my favorite style of bike. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever seen a fat boy, a fat boy turn into a bobber. So, at the very least, it'd be interesting to think about. So, the first ride so far has been pretty good. Um, getting used to her. The power of this thing is just insanely different than the uh, than the shadow. This thing has get up for days. It's only a 103 engine. But, I think I'll definitely be able to keep up with Manny this time. No problem at all. A lot of shake to the engine, but that's characteristic of Harley's. I knew I should have taken the turnpike. That wind on the way up just killed me. 
still not sure how I feel about the floorboards. I may end up turning that into pegs. It's kind of cool though. Except for my jeans, I am completely blacked out right now. I will say this over the shadow. The clutch lever, I like where the friction zone is. And it, as a lever, it's much easier and much more comfortable to pull and hold on to. And you know, when you're in a situation like this, at stop and go, you can you just got an up and down shift. It's very, very nice. I like it a lot. Handlebars are a very good position. I'm gonna have to get used to the controls. I don't even know where my horn is. Now, nah, there it is. Okay. The grips, I love. The sitting position, I love too. However, these floorboards are weird for me. I, I'm definitely gonna flip the mirrors down to the bottom. And the speakers, I'll either flip or get rid of because uh, I don't see myself using the speakers, honestly. I just downshifted when I should have upshifted. God, that diesel pop is gorgeous. This bike has a very, very well done stage one kit on it. God, having six gears is so nice. So yeah, obviously this bike is not perfect. She's got a couple little rusty areas, but nothing. Nothing of concern, nothing made, nothing that even made it look ugly. A couple bolts here and there. You know, it's gonna need a little bit of cleaning up, but this is a great bike at a great, this was the right bike at the right price. And a big shout out to Danny and Eddie and everybody up at Harley, uh, Peterson Harley Davidson North. Thanks for all the help and uh, thanks for helping me find the right bike at the right price. And for working out, that deal worked out, my god. I'm not going to talk about the specifics of it, obviously, but it's pretty damn great. God, I love this bike. I haven't even opened her up yet. Yeah, one thing I loved about it, one of the reasons I went with this bike is because I already had a full stage one on it. They call that the Harley tax because everybody that gets a Harley ends up doing a exhaust, air intake, and a and tuner on it. So that is one big reason I went with this bike. Yeah, I gotta say, I mean, there's no fairing on it or anything, but the wind, the wind resistance on this bike, way better than the Shadow. On the shadow, my arms will be like jello right now. I don't know if it's the arm position. I don't know what it is. But way, way better wind resistance on this than on Spidey. So I just realized, unlike the shadow, I have self-canceling blinkers. Nice. Uh, that's going to be second. That's going to be first. Yeah, there we go. One thing about this bike that I'm not super crazy about is how hot it gets. It does get pretty hot. I'm gonna have to, uh, that is an air cooled bike, so. But I may have to invest in some of the uh, love jugs that Blockhead was talking about in one of his posts. It was from a couple years ago, so that technology has probably come a long way. And what they are is these tiny little fans that sit right on the side of the engine, right here. And they, uh, they just blow cold air right on your engine. And it keeps it way cooler. Because, yeah, I mean, I can feel that heat radiating really bad right now. Part of it is the way that that exhaust sticks out way more than the Shadow did. I just got to get used to it, but I love that so cool yeah the seat you can almost lean back way back look at it look at the reflection in the car <laughs> alright guys that's going to do it for this video I'm sure a lot of stuff got cut out of it but I just spoke a lot of nonsense on this ride but uh alright so ride safe 
subscribe, follow the Fat, fat Boy uh, Adventures on the vlog and on my Instagram. Hit the like button, subscribe, and that's it. Right safe.